Now at five, as fires rage on in parts of Yakima, Umatilla, and Chelan counties, we do have some positive updates also ahead. I'm Monique Ledesma with Apple Valley News Now. Coming up tonight at five and at six, find out how the Franklin County Fire District 3 Levy Lift Lift is doing and how it's gonna affect the fire district moving forward. All that and more coming up. Later, credit union employees are to thank after a woman was scammed to believe that her daughter had been kidnapped. Why officials believe Hispanic people are getting targeted in financial scams. Stacy. And we're tracking cooler temperatures, but really right about average right now. Also some smoke and haze in the air and a certain meteor shower making its peak tonight. I'll give you all the details in your first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Well, good Monday evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. First at 5, let's bring you up to date on the latest with our regional wildfires. With firing and conditions improving in some areas of the retreat fire, forest officials and fire managers have lifted portions of the temporary closures. Effective today, Forest Service lands on North Fork John Day Ranger District east of U.S. Highway 395 and parts of both North Fork John Day and Hepner Ranger Districts have reopened. Along the Highway 12 corridor where all the, the cabins and whatnot were, uh, we've removed all our pumps, all our hose. We're feeling very comfortable in that area. We're still going to have engines patrolling should something pop up, but at this point we see almost no threat to those values at risk, and so we're really happy. We focused a lot of effort on that. Total acres burned now 45,601. The containment is sitting at around 77%. Updating you on the Pioneer Fire in Chelan County, more smoke was seen at Little Wenatchee. Now the fire is burning in high wilderness and is confined by avalanche breaks and burn scars from fire several years ago. With resources spread thin, this fire will be allowed to burn in its limited space. It remains very far from structures on the edges of Wenatchee and the surrounding communities. The fire is only 13% contained, however. In the Battle Mountain Complex and Court Rock fires, all evacuation zones have been downgraded one level. The only evacuation zone for the Court Rock fire is a level 1 B ready. There are only level 1 B ready and level 2 B set evacuation zones in and around the Battle Mountain Complex in Grant County. Containment on this fire sitting at 72%. Now to a story we have been covering since primary election day last week. Tonight, our Monique Ledesma is looking into some of the reasons why the Franklin County Fire District levy lid lift did not pass. Monique has more now. Franklin County Fire District 3 added a levied lid lift to the primary ballot, but so far the votes are not looking to be in their favor. The fire district asked voters to raise the fire levy from 88 cents to $1.28 per $1,000 of assessed property value on this primary election ballot. This only showed up on the ballot for people who live in the area served by the Franklin County Fire District 3. One of the calls for the levy was to increase staffing to one additional full-time firefighter and two seasonal firefighters for wildland fire season. Later tonight at 6, you'll be able to hear from Chief Harris and how this will affect the Franklin County Fire District 3. All right, Monique, we'll see you then. Chief Harris told Apple Valley News now that the fire district has until November to finalize their budget for 2025. So with all of these fires still burning, air quality is still an issue. Stacy Lee joining us now from our First Alert Weather Center with a first look at our forecast. Hi, Stacy. Hey, Austin. Yeah, there is definitely smoke and haze still surrounding our area with many fires burning around the area. Air quality pretty good right now. However, 92 degrees on our health first sky cam or feels like temp 88. Winds are breezy this afternoon, about 17 miles an hour. Sunset 809, losing two minutes of daylight per day. Let's take a look at our temperatures elsewhere around the area. It's cool. Look at that 79 right now in Ellensburg, 80s and 90s through the rest of the area. Some of us dropping below our average for this time of year, and we're going to continue to see that cooling trend. In fact, we're eight degrees cooler than we were just 24 hours ago in Ellensburg, about even uh, in Tri-Cities, four and five degrees cooler along the foothills of the blue. So 
57 tonight, some haze and smoke in the air. Winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow, look for 85. Going to start off hazy, then see mostly sunny skies with some breezy winds. So just to recap, cool and hazy tonight. Breezy to gusty winds tonight and tomorrow. Our temperatures falling below the average, and we do have a chance of some thunderstorms, mainly in the northern Blue Mountains tonight. I'll break all that down for you in my first alert full weather forecast. Austin. All right, Stacy, thank you for that. Other news now, employees with Tri-CU Credit Union in Kennewick are being credited with helping a woman who believed her daughter had been kidnapped. The woman says that the kidnappers even had her daughter's voice, but it was all just a scam, and she's not alone. The president of Tri-CU Credit Union says they are trying to get the word out because it is becoming a more common type of scam. And we're just hoping to get the word out to make sure fewer people are victimized in the future. Um, it's kind of a new one. This is the second one in the Tri-Cities. First one was at Giza, apparently about 10 days ago. Um, and it's a horrifying one. So we're hoping to help people avoid being victimized. We have all of the details and what led up to this and why officials believe people who are Spanish speaking are being targeted in these financial scams. That's coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Similar acts with big impacts. The Kennewick Police Department is rolling out a new program to identify acts of kindness. Hapo Community Credit Union is working with the Kennewick Police Foundation to fund $100 gift cards as appreciation for kindness of local citizens. According to the Kennewick Police Chief, a couple of these have already been given out. A couple gentlemen stopped somebody who was stranded, helped them fix their tire. Um, another gentleman helped with a medical condition. Um, and again, these are things that were brought forward by our officers, right? Just, just like the community care fund, they've been empowered to when they see something, they're allowed to come in, get a card. We ask that the person, you know, be willing to take a photo with us so we can highlight them even more. The department says it is up to the officers to not only look for people doing things wrong, but also to catch people doing things right. Right now, there's limited cards, but there is no end in sight for the program. Cadillac workers to go on strike Service Employees International Union giving a 10 day notice of intended labor action at Cadillac Regional Medical Center. The strike comes after an eight month long failed negotiation to settle on the employer's pay rate. The strike starts August 20th and will go through August 27th. Tonight at six, you'll be able to hear from the union's president. Well, ballots continue to come in for the August primary in Yakima County with over 43,700 ballots on hand and about 500 left to count. A levy to support Sela Aquatic Center through 2025 passing with 60% supermajority threshold with 62.5% of voters saying yes. The ask seven cents per thousand dollars of assessed property tax value, adding up to about $21 a year for the owner of a $300,000 home. The results not final until certified on August 20th, but with just a few hundred ballots left to count. I don't think the margins of difference are small enough to be affected by that. You know, I just can't see it changing. The auditor says military ballots for the general election will start going out on September 20th and regular ballots on October 10th. Despite the rumors, MultiCare is not permanently closing its hospice care facility in Yakima. Cottage in the Meadow will be temporarily closed through late 2025 while MultiCare obtains state certification to reopen. It is a skilled nursing facility. That's what they're hoping. They'll still provide hospice services at the same level, but the remaining beds will go to patients requiring short term rehabilitation. Cottage in the Meadow, just one of many hospice care facilities struggling with inflation and low Medicare reimbursement rates. Locally, Heartlinks Hospice and one other care center also feeling the pressure. We rely so much on fundraising and donation support to just sustain our operations. Um, we're doing okay. There's been some tough months, years. <laughs> Coming up at 6, what you need to know about the temporary closure of Cottage in the Meadow.
YWCA Yakima says the latest phase of the Bringing It Home Capital Campaign number two with a focus on raising the final $1 million in local support to reach their $2 million goal. Officials say the funds are essential for expanding the emergency shelter by providing vital services. In 2023, YWCA Yakima assisted over 14,000 individuals affected by domestic violence. However, the current facility's limited capacity forced them to turn Turn away over 1,000 families in 2023. All right, let's get back to school now. Can you believe it's almost that time of year? Summer vacations are drawing to a close in several school districts across the country, including the nation's largest in California, LA, head back to the classroom today. Along with new the new school year, new expenses, Juliet Vargas Jones has more on that. It's back to school and back to reality. Between those regular school supplies, electronics, clothing, and shoes, American families are expected to come very close to last year's record high in spending. School is back in session, and with it, big spending. We're expecting consumers shopping for back to school and back to college to spend at near record amounts following last year's historic highs. The National Retail Federation estimates families with children in elementary through high school plan to spend on average nearly $875 on school supplies, clothes, and electronics. The reason? Electronics are a much bigger portion of back to school and college spending than they used to be. Kids these days, whether they're in elementary school, middle school, or high school, are usually attending class equipped with some sort of electronic device to aid in their learning. It's even more expensive for college students who are expected to spend more than $1,300 on average for the upcoming school year. Elizabeth Moore, a shopping expert with Retail Me Not, says there are ways to save. One thing that parents should be aware of is their opportunity to stack sales with other discounts. Moore also says start shopping early. This will help spread the cost and maximize the chances of finding a deal. The data that we have from the record-breaking Amazon Prime Day this year shows that many parents actually started their back-to-school shopping with their midsummer sales um, all the way back in July. Shopping smart can help stretch your dollar further this school year. And parents are not the only ones having to open their wallets. The National Association of Educators estimates that teachers spend between $500 and $750 of their own money each year to get students what they need. Julia Vargas-Jones, Los Angeles. Still ahead on your news at 5, the Seattle Seahawks have their preseason opener. We've got a recap coming up. Speaking of sports, we'll have the latest on the drama behind an American Olympian whose gold medal was stripped. And it is a new week. Stacy's back with your full first alert forecast. We're back after this. Should we take a look at? What do you think? So here, from design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $500 off your tub or shower remodel. You get hurt in a car wreck and all of a sudden you feel like there's a black cloud hanging over your life. You're in pain and the insurance company doesn't want to pay. Call me, attorney Mariano Morales. I have the power of more. Don't take that first offer when I can get you more, much more than they want to pay. And why go to court if you don't have to? And when they find out the heavy hitters on your side, well, you know, blue skies. Injured? Call me, attorney Mariano Morales, because helping you is what I do. Call 853-2222. Watch me. Watch me turn, drift, and fly. With a gas pedal underfoot, I can make grown men cry. My very first race changed everything in a flash. But heroes whisked me away and healed wounds from the crash. 900 horses may be too much for some to tame. Put me behind the wheel, and I'll see you in victory lane. Watch me. Life-saving pediatric burn care at Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere. Where's the most mouth-watering pizza and best salad bar in town? Well, Hubby's Pizza, of course. Order Hubby's Pizza tonight and get a large 16-inch pepperoni pizza for just $16.49. Mouth-watering yumminess. The perfect fresh dough and toppings for a quick and easy dinner. And now you can get your favorite pizza delivered from Grubhub, dine-in, or carry-out. Acquire the Hubby's Habit. 
your hometown favorite for nearly 50 years. Chevy lets you begin every day fully charged. So you can go farther. And so can your money. Tow with confidence. Plus, stay connected with available OnStar technology. For summer adventures, Chevy's got you. Get $57.50 total value on this Silverado LT when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. See your community Chevy dealers. So what do you think about these? We're going to take everything. From design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,000 off your complete bathroom remodel. Round 5 voting is now open. Click contests at AppleValleyNewsNow.com. Thanks for staying with us. The Seattle Seahawks had their preseason opener over the weekend. Sports reporter Alex Crescenti from our sister station in Spokane has a quick recap. Not a lot of guys suited up. Not so much for the former athletes that called Eastern Washington home once upon a time. In the first quarter, Seattle driving as Kenny McIntosh takes the handoff. Makes a couple guys miss, but eventually is taken down by former Washington State Cougar linebacker Dayon Henley. Later in the quarter, McIntosh again with the run, but is initially met by Henley again. He's taken down after only a, yard, a couple of uh, yards there. Then on third and one, McIntosh gets the first down, but is taken down by Henley immediately after. Dayon finishes with four tackles on the evening. It will definitely be needed in that L.A. defensive rebuild. On the Seahawks side of the ball, another familiar face. In the third, P.J. Walker completes to former Coug wide receiver Aesop Winston Jr. A nice catch and a first down keeps the drive going. Then check this out. On third and 17, Walker goes deep over the middle, completes to Winston, and that amazing catch will sur surely turn some heads on the coaching staff as he's looking to make the final 53-man. And roster. Another Coug looking to make uh, the Seattle team is Devin Richardson. He made the most impact on the final drive of the game. Here he is making a tackle of Isaiah Spiller. Richardson finishes with three tackles on the afternoon and the Se uh, Seahawks end up winning this one 16 to 13. Now let's hear from the new head coach Mike McDonald on what he thought after his first game as head coach. Uh, it felt like the guys played really hard. It felt like they were focused. You know, it's the first game, so just first time doing all the operation stuff for real. Uh, so I thought our operation was clean for the most part. I'm sure that, you know, I got a bunch of notes written down as the game kind of unfolded there, things that we're going to want to chase and uh, kind of debrief on. But overall, I'd just say it's, you know, it's a, I say it's a foundational first game. You know, this is something that we want to build on. And our thanks to Alex Crescenti for that. By the way, the Seattle Seahawks take on the Tennessee Titans this coming Saturday. Well, the Olympic medals for women's gymnastics were awarded in Paris last week, but the battle over who should have been on that podium is far from over. USA Gymnastics says it will appeal the International Olympic Committee's decision to strip American Jordan Childs of her bronze medal and instead award it to a gymnast from Romania. In question, the bronze medal awarded to Childs after her floor routine last Monday in Paris. Because Jordan Childs was the last gymnast, she only had a minute. So she had significantly less time to get in this inquiry. Now, Childs coaches immediately filed a challenge saying the routine wasn't scored correctly for difficulty. Childs shared four broken hearts on Instagram over the weekend on Saturday, telling fans she is taking a quick break from social media, all for her mental health. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And you know, they say a picture says a thousand words and that's what we're looking at on our Biden Heart Sky Cam, looking down into the Yakima Valley smoke and haze. It's a bit thicker there in the Yakima Valley as it has been with fires burning much closer to the area. 84 degrees right now in Yakima, winds at 13 miles an hour. Our feels like is 82, our sunset at 809. Air quality, however, is doing okay through the region. We're at moderate, so it's definitely there. 
If you are sensitive, try to stay indoors. But this has been kind of the case uh, for the last couple of weeks with so many fires burning in the area. Now things are going to get a little worse before they get better down the Yakima Valley, down the uh, lower portion of the valley, out towards Mabton and the Hanford area. You'll start to see a little bit thicker smoke as the night moves on. Here's our future cast smoke map. And again, that smoke just kind of making its way down the lower valley through Sunnyside right into the outskirts of the Tri-Cities up towards Connell. So things will start to lighten out late tonight, but things will get a little bit more intense as the evening moves on. We do have air quality alert until further notice for the Yakima Valley, uh, all the way from uh, the top of the valley down into Sunnyside Lower Valley towards the Tri-Cities area. Weather pattern for the next couple of days, warm and breezy with some stray mountain showers. And you can see most of them staying to the north of our area, right into that Idaho panhandle. There's a little brief uh, bit of showers possible coming up from the south through the eastern mountains, just outside of Tri-Cities in those uh, southern blues of Oregon into the Washington Blue Mountains. So that's about it as far as precip goes, and we're not expecting a lot of accumulation out of that. Here's future cast going forward tonight. It's a fairly good cell moving up again from the southwest, so that means warmer air meeting our cooler air here, which could produce some lightning strikes. Again, east of Walla Walla, east of Pendleton, out into uh, Idaho and to eat northeastern Oregon. So once that passes by, we'll have fairly clearing skies, although you will still be dealing with uh, those hazy conditions. Temperatures dropping, dropping, dropping well below our average for the next couple of days. Let's talk about temperatures overnight tonight. We're going to be in the cool 50s all through the area with some hazy conditions. Uh, also, the Perseid meteor shower is active. Last night was the biggest night, but it's active through September. Look uh, facing northeast. 50 to 75 meteors uh, darting through the sky in those dark spots. You got to get out of light pollution to see those. For tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures all through the area in the 80s. So yeah, hot, hazy, and sunny. And uh, for our planner for Ellensburg, look at those temps in the 70s and 80s. Slight chance of some thunder showers there. Yakima's got a chance of thunder showers beginning Thursday right on through Monday. Breezy winds tomorrow. Tri-Cities below average temperatures. Slight chances of stray showers. Breezy winds tomorrow. In Hermiston, it's going to be windy there tomorrow, below average temps, slight chance of T-storms. And in Walla Walla, same thing, hit or miss thunderstorms with a slight chance of those throughout the day. So again, be safe out there. And if you do hear any thunder or lightning tonight, head indoors. Austin. All right, Stacey, thank you. Still ahead here at 5, we have tonight's Spotlight, and we'll be talking about a Benton City Airman. Stay tuned for that. It's next. Jessica Jalol and Jill Sperling. Good morning, Northwest. Weekdays on your side. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes. That could be why the big truck hit you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Call 853 2222. Okay, ideas. Where are we going? I got one. I got one. Show. I've seen you, I've swiped on you, no. Okay. Oh, I got an idea. I feel hungry. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Whatever your vibe. Tacos. Definitely tacos. Find it in the all new, all hybrid Camry. Toyota, let's go places. Warning your air conditioner unit needs service. Would you like me to call Bruce? Yes, call Bruce. Thanks to today's modern technology, it's never been easier to call Bruce Heating and Air. When your AC unit needs serviced, call Bruce. Oh my gosh. Let's get this party started. Just make sure you call the right Bruce. Now through September 30th, receive rebates up to $1,850 off on a new Dyke and Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. I'd started abusing the oxycodones that I'd been prescribed. I was pretty uncontrollable. I knew that the drugs and the alcohol had taken a toll on me, and I knew the whole time that I wanted to make changes. I just didn't know how to make them. It was a blessing that I went into rehab, and that's how I got my life back on track. I didn't get sober on my own. I had a group of people. Watch more stories and find resources about substance use disorder at maketheconnection.net slash substance use disorder. Visit Fred's Appliance today and explore unbeatable deals. 
Step up to the all-in-one GE Profile Laundry Machine for just $21.98. It combines both washer and dryer functions into one sleek appliance, saving space and offering unmatched convenience. Automatically dispenses the right amount of detergent each load, and Wi-Fi connectivity allows you to control and monitor your laundry from anywhere, saving you time and effort. At Fred's, we sell appliances, only appliances. Throw away your distance and reading glasses. Join Drs. Kopstein and King for a free live webinar August 22nd and find out if RLE is right for you. K2 Vision RLE. No readers, glasses, contacts, or cataracts. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes. That could be why the big truck hit you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hit. Call 853-2222. Welcome back. Check this out. It's time for tonight's Spotlight. This is a fun one, Stacey. Yes, Aviation Structural Mechanics Second Class Logan Davis from Benton City, assigned to the Proud Warriors of Helicopter Maritime Squadron, is preparing a MH-60 R Seahawk helicopter for the launch from the flight deck and to the Harry S. Truman Carrier Strike Group. Now, this is something that's underway in the Atlantic Ocean. Composite unit training exercises are an intense multi-week exercise designed to fully integrate a carrier strike group as a cohesive multi-mission fighting force. Way oh, to go, Benton yeah. City. <laughs> we, wish, we wish him the best. Still ahead on your news tonight, actually before we talk about what's coming up next, tonight at six o'clock, our extended interview with Jared Sessler. From religion to the biggest local issues he sees. You don't want to miss the interview. That's tonight at six. Stay Round by voting is now open. Click contests at applevalleynewsnow.com. If you think a little change in dinner plans would bother Dee Dee, then you'd be wrong. Let's roll, guys. Good. Hey, split up. Yep. When it comes to dining out, Dee Dee knows how to roll. From all you can eat to the best burger this side of Mount Adams, Mexican food, pizza, or Asian fusion, it's always fine at Legends. Legends Casino Hotel, because fun is how we roll. Watch me. Watch me take the stage. It's okay to stare. Not long ago, it seemed things weren't fair. A face like my friends, that's all I would want. Now I can smile anytime I'm in front. I feel pretty, I must be a star. They helped me come a long way. I'll show you how far. Watch me. World-class procedures for cleft lip and palate at Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere. When you get hurt on the job, you never know if you're going to get paid by Labor and Industries. Let Bothwell and Hamill fight on your behalf for your workers' comp. We can often increase your compensation. The sooner you call us, the better. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411 for a free consultation. Bothwell and Hamill. Chevy lets you begin every day fully charged. So you can go farther. And so can your money. Tow with confidence. Plus, stay connected with available OnStar technology. For summer adventures, Chevy's got you. Get 5750 total value on this Silverado LT when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. See your community Chevy dealers. So what do you think about these? Yeah, we love it. When it's time for an update or a complete remodel, Rebath is with you every step of the way. We're going to take everything down to the From side. design and products to removal and installation, we handle the entire process to create a beautiful and functional bathroom for whatever your life needs. Honey, you were right. Turned out Rebath, with you every step of the way. Call us or visit Rebath.com to learn more about no interest, no payments for 12 months. An awesome flight over a lakeside community in northern Idaho. We have the beautiful lake right here, the bike trail, amazing businesses. Harrison. We have some of the most beautiful sunsets you'll ever see in your lifetime. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Coming up tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest, the Kennewick Police Department is launching a new program. We'll have the details. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Josh Culberth will have the details on a slight cool down. Join us at 5 and 6 tomorrow morning.
And welcome back. Come take a look at your screen. Our buddy Alan, he takes glorious morning walks along the Columbia River. And look at that, a beautiful, cooler morning. You're right, Alan. And those uh, mornings are going to be even cooler all week long. You're definitely going to notice. Get your weather photos on. Just click the QR code on the right side or go to Apple Valley News now. Click on the weather tab. That's what things are looking like tomorrow. Again, lower 60s to start off and those mid 70s lunchtime. Good picnic weather. <laughs> I'm looking at that forecast and my mind is like, <laughs> Below. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see you at six. Hoping your news is good news. World news is coming up next. Have a good night. <laughs>